Welcome back gamers, I hope you're all doing well and keeping safe. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and notification button to stay up to date with my new content and help your boy out. So the new Call of Duty Cold War Alpha build, my feedback was wow what a great game Treyarch have made. Now don't get me wrong, there are a lot of issues and there are things that I don't like in the Alpha build which we will dive into shortly. The gameplay in the background was on my PS4 Pro using the standard PS4 controller, excuse the bad gameplay as I recently switched over to the dark side and joined the PC realm lol. It took me literally two days to get back to using a controller again. Going back to the PS4 made me realise why I switched to the PC in the first place. It was due to the fact of the locked 60 frames which really sucks however if anybody are thinking of buying the new PS5 or the Xbox Series X, good news the new Call of Duty Cold War will support 120 hertz on the new consoles. Let me know if anyone will be purchasing the PS5, Xbox series x or series s i want to know drop a comment below also if anybody managed to secure a pre-order as you all know sony and microsoft had big issues with the pre-orders leading many not to be able to make in the pre-order including myself i will be securing a ps5 if i get it on pre-order and i will be getting the digital version as i always purchase my games digitally nowadays so let's talk about the things i didn't enjoy about the alpha build the maps did suck except satellite moscow was an okay map i guess but the main reason i didn't like Moscow was because of the general layout. It fell off and playing objective modes like hardpoint it was difficult to find cover due to the location area. The time to throw grenades took ages. I think this was due to the animation which I really hope they fix when the main game gets released. The footsteps oh my god was so bad. Not as bad as Modern Warfare lol but even when I had ninja perk on I could hear my own footsteps and it was difficult to censor where the enemy's footsteps were. I hope they addressed this and get it fixed before the game gets released. Now addressing the main concern every Call of Duty YouTuber is moaning about was the skill based matchmaking. I 100% totally agree with them and there is a hard skill based matchmaking in the game. How I can tell it with my own experience, after playing the first 2 hours of the alpha build I was easily getting above 2.5 KD. After the 2 hours it ultimately kicked me out of my current lobby and threw me into a hard sweaty lobby where the enemies were drop shot in, jump shot in and had YT and TTV in their caller ID. Now to be completely honest with you I have nothing against anybody putting YT in their caller ID or TTTV. End of the day they're just trying to promote their channel. At this point of the game I couldn't even achieve above a 1.5 KD. At this point I really had to go really try hard mode myself which I really didn't want it to do. End of the day I, it was an alpha build and I couldn't care less about my KD but all I cared about was getting a good feel of the the game and to get my feedback whether to ditch this game like I did with Modern Warfare or to grind this game out for the next year, unlock all the camos and to try get Master Prestige if possible. Comment below if you're grinding out Modern Warfare for this past year. I'm not talking about Warzone but rather the Modern Warfare multiplayer. I couldn't stand the game, far too many campers, it was very slow plays and the time to kill was too quick for my liking. That brings me to my final complaint about the game. The time to kill felt a tad bit too quick for my liking. Now I managed to adjust after a few hours of playing the alpha build, but bear in mind I literally been playing Call of Duty Black Ops 4 on PC for the past couple of months, and I've been so used to the time to kill on that game and how long it takes. The main thing you will be able to adjust to the new time to kill on the new alpha build when it gets released out to the PC and also Xbox and all of the platform. Now let's address all the good points. First off after playing the game it had that addictive feeling only a few Call of Duty games have that make you want to keep playing. For example Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 2 and obviously the main Black Ops 1. I, I don't know what it was but I really looked forward playing to my next game even with the bad points I mentioned moments ago. The guns felt really good, had really good recoil and yes there were some OP weapons in the build like the AK-47U which you can see in the gameplay in the background that I was using. The sniping felt really amazing so good news for all the snipers out there. I did use both snipers in the game and both felt good and strong. Their ADSL time felt quick so you can see a lot of quick scoping this year. The shotguns were really strong in close range and I really enjoyed having them in my class. I did enjoy the class at Dorm and how they brought back the gunsmith from Modern Warfare. The pace of the game felt good. No camp 
in unless you were playing the rubbish map Miami. I absolutely hated that map with a passion. Overall, I'm very pleased with what Trey have created in the short time they had. The game needs some improvements, but generally the game will be a successful game. Now, what I really want from Trey up to do and how I think it will please the players and the Call of Duty community, they need to bring back prestige. If they don't, I think it will really upset the players, including myself, because I love to grind for the massive prestige. As far as we know, the game will be cross-gen on all platforms, which is a huge bonus for us all. Playing block Ops 4 on the PC is not possible to find a free for all lobby or players so this will help keep the game running for long term and longevity. I really hope they bring us some good maps and when I mean by good maps I mean small maps because small maps is what we really need. Also the more gunfights you get into the higher kills you're going to get and the higher kill gets you're going to get means you're going to get better kill streaks in the game and it's just going to make the game much more fun and enjoyable. There's no point of playing a game camping for you know the 10 minutes in a team deathmatch and only getting you know what from that probably 8 to 10 kills we already know Treyarch and Activision are going down the same route as Modern Warfare in terms of battle pass which I have no issues with as it will bring us more content in the game and keep the game fresh when they bring over Warzone Battle Royale mode into Cold War I hope it doesn't break the player base and it's easy to find lobbies to join. My final wish will be, I hope they remove skill-based matchmaking or even tone it down just a tad bit. Skill-based matchmaking should only be in ranked game mode because nobody wants to play try hard when playing a casual game mode. That's what makes Call of Duty is really special and why a lot of people have such a big base is because people just want to play Call of Duty casually. Nobody's trying to be you know, the next big competitor. You know, we just want to have a bit of fun just to, you know, with mates jump online it really does take the fun out of the game and i could see this being the downfall for the game but fingers crossed treyarch and activision do something about it and make the change when they release the game in november the 13th let me know below if you agree with my feedback off the alpha and my demands comment below and before i go i just want to say a big thank you for all the support i've been getting on the channel drop a like and subscribe and help me grow this channel take care gamers and see you all in the next video Peace.